All progress takes place outside the comfort zone. Hi, I'm Coach Erica from Pittsburgh Fit with your PF Go workout for today. We're gonna go ahead and start off with calories of cardio, step ups, and up downs to warm up with. So when you jump on your bike or rower, first time through, nice and easy. Second time through should be moderate to fast since you're a little bit more warmed up. Then you're gonna grab a box. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 step ups. You're gonna toss one leg onto the box, pull yourself up with that front leg. Whichever leg goes onto the box first, I want that to be the leg that's doing most of the work. The other leg that's on the ground should just be kind of assisting and just pushing off the ground just a little bit. After that, we're gonna go into 10 up downs. For these up downs, you kick into a plank position and then hop right back up. What I want you to focus on is making sure you're using your core here. You're using your core to pull your legs to your hands. You're gonna go through that one more time through and then we're gonna move on to passive active hangs, pulsing supermans, and ring rows. If you're here in the gym, we'll do our passive active rings off of the rig where you shrug your shoulders up and down while hanging from a bar. If you are not in the gym or you don't feel comfortable jumping up onto the rig, you can do um, arm circles instead. You'll do 10 forwards and then 10 backwards, just like Grace is doing right there. After that, you're gonna go down to the ground for 10 pulsing superman. So, pulsing superman, arms out and over your head, feet are squeezed together, and then you're going to squeeze everything on the back of your body. There we go. You're gonna squeeze everything on the back of your body to pull your body as far away from the ground as possible, and then lower back down with control. When you lower back down with control, you come back down, tap the ground, and right back up. After that, you're gonna do 10 ring rows. So you can grab a pair of rings, pull yourself to the rings, and go back down to full extension. Or you can grab a pair of dumbbells and do bent over rows instead. Either one, totally fine with us. You're gonna go through that one more time through, and then we're gonna move on to our extended warm up. So we have a really long workout today, so we're doing an extended warm up instead of a strength session. And this extended warm up is to get us a little bit extra ready for our pull ups in the workout. So we have three sets of five kip swings, right into three kip swings with a hip drive, and then three kipping pull ups. So the kip swing, as a reminder, is a flow between squeezing your belly and squeezing your butt. It's going from that hollow hold position to that arch position. Now, after you do five kip Kip swings, you're basically going to do three more kip swings, but you're going to get a little bit bigger. I want you to be a little bit more active with pushing the bar down, and I want you to bring your chest through your arms a little bit more. So you're doing that same kip swing, you're just going to get a little bit more dramatic with it. After that, you're going to do three kipping pull ups. So now you're going to incorporate that kip swing into a pull up where you pull your chin over the bar. Now, if you are not able to do these things, that is totally okay. We're gonna do some arch holds and some hollow holds from the floor, and then you will also do some ring rows instead of pull-ups. Now, from there, we're gonna move on to our workout. Our workout for today is four time. Now, bear with me here, there are a lot of things going on. You are gonna start off with either some time on the rower or on the bike. If you're on the rower, Guys, you have 1,000 meters. Ladies, you have 800 meters. If you're on the bike, you, guys, you have 2,000 meters. Ladies, you have 1,600 meters. After you sp spend your time on the bike or rower, you have 80 burpees. Yes, eight, zero, a lot of burpees today. I want you to think about doing these in chunks. 10, take a couple breaths. 10, take a couple breaths. What this burpee looks like is you come all the way down to the ground. Everything should touch the ground, and then you hop back up. Now, in our warm-up, we talked about bringing your feet to your hands and using your belly to do that, you are going to continue that with the burpee just like so. Hey Grace, can we see about five more? I'm just kidding. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the pull-ups. So you have 60 pull-ups. Again, that's a lot of pull-ups. I would like you to be able to do this in sets of five or more. If you jump up there and are only doing these in sets of two or three, let's go ahead and go down to ring rows today or bent over rows. Either one is totally fine with me. Now, from there, we have 40 box jumps. So, the box jumps is a good time to kind of relax. I want you to grab your breath at the top of each box jump. So, Grace is going to jump up onto the box. She's going to land in power position. She's going to stand. She's going to take a breath in. Step right back down to where she wants to jump from and jump. On the box, that is where you rest. As soon as you step down, you're in your jumping position. You're jumping right back up. This will keep you consistent and this will keep you efficient throughout the workout. 
after that, we're back on the biker rower. This time for half the distance. So, guys, you have 500 meters on the rower. Ladies, you have 400 meters. Guys, you have 1,000 meters on the bike. Ladies, you have 800 meters. Now, we're gonna go into some up-downs. So we did burpees in the first half of this workout. Now the second half, we're doing up-downs, just like we did in the warm-up, you have 40 up-downs. And then we're gonna do 30 ring rows, and then we're gonna do 20 more box jumps, but this time we're gonna do box jump overs. So, you're gonna jump up onto the box. You're gonna turn while you're on the box. So turn, step down backwards, and then you're gonna jump right back up. Good. It's important to make sure you step down backwards or step down on when you're going sideways. Either one is fine. I just don't want you stepping down forwards. That puts you at a higher risk for injury, but it also forces you to take another couple steps away from the box, which is not very efficient. So I want you to stay efficient through this workout because there are a lot of reps. We have to stay close to the box to stay moving. All right, guys, let us know how long this takes you. Have a great workout. Have a great day.